Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family just thank you so much for being able to mess with me the long way being able to support my videos letting me know that you are truly resonating with them being able to share your experiences is greatly appreciated to me and you know we're really going to make it through these crazy moments so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback you know give me a couple of lines even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are really going through some dark times right now and just need validation and confirmation towards their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me it is so greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um meditation i'm listening to is called miracle healing music 472 hertz uh, Delta binarial beats, deep sleep music, soothing music. And I will post that link in the description box below. It's very pretty. It has this beautiful woman. It looks like she has like behind mountains or something like that. And she's just holding her hands like that. It's very beautiful. Um, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, when darkness tries to throw pain in your program. I was just saying that about, you know, it, it was... Uh, in my other video I was talking about that I said you know what that's gonna be some good content because when I asked universe that hey you want me to send out some messages you know just throw out there what you need me to talk about and there'll be certain things I'm like hey you know what I'm gonna do that so if it's not like about the positive post I'll be posting on my social media you know it things triggers out and there sometimes I even find like the post and I put the post up and use the you know just what it says in the post just by using content for that because I know truly people go through all these things but it's true you know um when you know you're heading towards things you're aiming towards your goals your dreams I hate saying the word goals but you know some people do use goals um trying to better yourself trying to level up you know uh, go towards you know a better situation because it's just like you know like i told y'all we're all going through you know spiritual awakening and it can really put you in a dark place it can really put you in a traumatizing moment you know you could be having a good day and then all of a sudden a emotion or a past memory can really put you in a dark spot you know and that's what darkness tries to do he wants to keep you in that dark place like you can always see you know like you see the paintings and the post that people put up where you see devil on one side god on the other and they're doing like an arm wrestle and it's truly true you know because there's crazy things that happen in the world and then there's beautiful things that occur in the world as well we all need balance in the life so it's just like going through these days you have to be gentle with yourself you have to be patient you know you're always like oh well i'm falling behind no i mean there's time i feel like that like you know what you're way behind and i'm not it's just the fact is you have to things take time you know when you're healing towards things it takes a daily process you have to be able to learn to you know when things come up in a memory to not allow it to trigger you you know not to give it any kind of emotion you gotta act like that dream you know that memory got leprosy or something like that like oh hey go ahead and pass but just don't touch me don't affect me in any kind of way you gotta do that not to keep telling myself that at the time because it's like ego or you know it could be somebody who messed you know, you could be out in the street or something like that and bump into somebody you got into it with months, years ago, and it brought back that same memory and that same, you know, the energy that brought along that memory, you know, um, and just not allow it to, you know, affect you. You know, it's just like I could be on Facebook and it's like if you, you know, you go up under there and you, you have a friend request and then it's like, uh, you know, people that's in your contact or whatever. And it could be, you know, people that you, you know, you might know. And there's been some people that I've seen that I got into it with, 
you know, last year or whatever. And I just look at him like, oh, you know, well, oh, well, you know, <laughs> I, I ain't even giving that, that, you know, that, that energy towards that person. And it's just like, you know, it is what it is at times, you know, when you know you're heading towards greatness, you know, when you're heading towards big and beautiful things, it'll always have something to set you back. You know, like I try to prioritize myself. I said, okay. You know, I'm going to get up in the morning, work out, do a few videos, and then, you know, go ahead, get me something to eat, and then go on my nature walk, and then come back, do some more videos, and I'm going to work out again, and don't play us, don't go that way, because then when I, you know, the night, the next, you know, when I'm playing this the day before, it'll be something that'll have me up all night, having insomnia like crazy, or if I took a sleep aid, it'll still have me drowsy the next day, and don't want to get up, it's always something. It's always something you have to constantly push yourself. You know, if you set something, you know, if you sit up here and prioritize yourself and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do the next day. You have to really stick to those things. You really have to make yourself stick to it. And it's just like today. I went out this morning. I got me something to eat. Um, went out on my nature walk and it was hotter than fish grease this morning. I was just like, you know what? I was planning to do some steep hills today, but I was just like, I'm about to pass out and I'm only going up a little bit of hill. And I got bit by mosquitoes and stuff like that. You know, you'll probably see some red marks on me. I'm like, you know what? Look, let you just go out there this afternoon when that sun go down because it's too hot out here. Somebody, you know, seeing you laid up in a you know, <laughs> in somebody driveway or something like that. So I was like, you know what? You you took this little walk to come back because I got this thing, uh, walk a meter on my phone where it tells you how many steps you had, how many calories you burnt off, and stuff like that. Because I used to be so active and you know, working out and stuff like that. But since you know, I'm not smoking and all that, I don't put on a little bit of weight. So I'm just like, it's okay you know at first I was just like angry with myself and now I'm just like you know what it's okay everything happens for a reason um so it's just like if you don't like things about yourself that it makes you feel self-conscious change it if you can change it change it you know you really can so it's just like I try to put you know be my own you know my, my little my little coach my little cheerleader my dad's not cheering me on metaphysically I'm cheering my own self on so it, it's just like when you're doing what you're doing you know, you got to stay woke. You got to be able to pay attention when, especially if old memories start popping up, you know, it could be a familiar smell or you're in a certain part of your house or, you know, somebody else say a certain phrase or something like that. And then the next thing you know, boom, you know, a memory will come up. You have to really pay attention, you know, just not allow those things to trigger you. You know, um, we go through the push and pull effect. You you know, one day it might not affect you, and then the next time, you know, it comes back up. You know, if you you have to be able to nip it in the bud and say, you know what, I'm not gonna allow these certain memories uh, to take me back down that painful road again. Yes, I've been through this, but I'm not gonna allow this to keep affecting me like it was. Not giving it the strength, not giving it the power, the energy. You have to keep telling yourself these things. You cannot allow yourself to do that. That's what ego wants you to do that's what darkness and the devil wants you to do you know even if it's somebody negative nancy you know somebody come up in there oh remember you used to do that stay away from people that always want to keep constantly bringing up dramatic past if it ain't something funny that you know can make y'all laugh like oh you remember when we used to get together and stuff like that if it's something positive yeah that's fine but if it's something negative that you really like hey that's not even me no more why would you bring that up you know there's some people are like that so those are the kind of people you need to stay away from because those are the type of people are very insecure about themselves. And, you know, if you can sit up here and tell somebody, you know, I, I have certain people in my family. Like, I can sit up here and be happy about something. I'm like, hey, you know, I did this. And they're like, oh, congratulations. Had that dry, you know, dry congrats. I'm like, dad, you know, you would think, you know, especially when I'm supportive of them. You know, I've, I've been there. You know, I can show support towards them and not be fake and phony about it. You know, and then they're, they're like that. I'm just like, you know what? You, those are, those are, it sounds like a personal issue going on with you. And I'm going to go ahead and let you handle that. <laughs> and then you just go about your business. You have to do that. Especially when it comes to family. It is a painful thing when you have to, you know, exit folks out your, your life, especially as family. And it's like now with all the situations that I'm going on with, you know, um, some of my, my family that, you know, are questioning, you know, what's going on? We didn't know about this. We didn't know about that. You know, I mean, even if you're not even supportive, asking me, hey, how you're doing or whatever, I just exit them out of my life. You know, it's just the fact is it's bad when I have to be that way, but it just makes me feel on the other side. I don't want to second guess my, you know, where are you at in my life? 
You know what I'm saying? If I know there might be, you know, it could go either way. You might have known about my situation and you didn't say nothing, so you're going to be out of my life. Or if you don't believe me, you're still going to be out of my life because I don't want nobody in my life that, you know, aren't isn't checking on me. Or, you know, because I'll check on you and you don't say anything. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine but it's it's just like with my situation going on i just cut all my family out of my life i just don't need it you know it's just like this is not my family anymore it's not you know if you're not immediate family you know even immediate family i don't you know unless it's my children if i didn't give birth to you i really don't care <laughs> you i can just send your blessings the other way the long way and just keep it moving you know and just doing me you know it's just like when you're going through different things you have to you know, uh, see who's worth staying around and see who's not. You know, Universal give you those spotlights. Like I was telling you on the other video, they highlight and spotlight the people that needs to get up out your life. They're like, hey, we sending you these red flags. And, you know, with us being empaths, we have that hard time always trying to see the good in people at times. And you need to stop doing that because if the red flags are popping up too much, you need to let them go. Let them go. I mean, there's people that I can sit up here and they're like, oh, you know, you can call me anytime. And when I be on the phone with you and you're asking me what's going on, you constantly talking over me. <laughs> Even though I give you that room to talk, when you got to talk, but it's like when I when I talk to you and it don't it don't matter. Those are the type of people you need to talk your life to because it seems like everything got to be all about them. You know, just let it be. You know, because I'm always that person that you know, listen to people or, you know, be like, Rosalind, you know, I need some advice. I love giving advice, especially if I know if I've been through it, I can be able to help you. If not, I'll be able to guide you to directions that will give you the answers that you need to get. You know, because if it's like, if I've never been through a situation like that, I won't give nobody advice. I won't. I will tell you, hey, I don't feel comfortable with giving you. I'm just saying, if I was to go through this, I would give you my example. But I'm telling them, if I didn't go through that, I really don't want to give you advice. But if it was me going through it, I would have went this way. You know, but, you know, it's not good to uh, give people advice if you haven't really went through anything. But, you know, stay prayed up. Meditate as much as you can. If you need to seek solitude, do that. You know, because usually when you end up being by yourself, that's when you start seeing things for what they truly are. Um, when you don't have distractions, uh, we can get distractions at times. But when you're going through that really dark time, that needs to get, you know, because a lot of times I used to be like that. I used to always want people around me. And that was not helping me because it was just like I didn't want to be alone with my thoughts. And people used to look at me like I was going crazy. And this is when I was going through spiritual awakenings years ago and didn't even know what was going on. And it was like I'm hearing all these voices. I'm hearing everybody's thoughts. I would blurt out saying something that somebody else was looking like. Rosalind, are you in my head? I'm like, no, this is what it, it just came out. I don't know why. You know, and people would think that I was crazy. But it's like now I'm so grateful for all those setbacks. I'm so grateful for all the mistakes I made. I'm so grateful for the failures I've made. The whines, the cries, the, the tears, the anger. I'm grateful for all those things because it strengthens you. You should never feel weak for crying. You should never feel weak by showing emotion. You know, I feel like when people can't cry, that's a sign of weakness. You know, a lot of times, and I tell people, I'm not trying to, you know, belittle you, but that's a sign of weakness. When you feel like, I can't cry, I feel numb, you shouldn't do that. That's not healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy at all. Because there are some times, you know, I, I hate crying in front of y'all. Now, I'll do it on my own, but I hate crying in front of y'all because, you know, I've seen people and it just seems like they're getting attention. And I never want nobody to think I'm getting attention on anything. But it's like, I can feel energy coming from people even before they even watch my videos or I can feel the energy I got from somebody's last comment and it'll cop you know it'll come up you know while I'm talking about certain things and I, it made me think about that person it'll make me tear up because you know with us being empaths <laughs> it can hurt and it can suck especially if you are feeling everything everybody else is feeling that is the worst kind of pain you know I give it kudos y'all y'all <laughs> I just can't. It just it sucks. It really does. But you know, I hope you were able to, you know, resonate with this video. You know, stay prayed up. If you need to meditate to get your answer, meditate. You know, I I, I try to meditate at least each and every day. If not, I do it every other day. And then there's probably more times I need to meditate more than that. So, you know, like and subscribe, drop me a line, give me your feedback. I would love a chance to hear, you know, 
what you what you got to say towards the video. Like and subscribe. Even drop me a line. Share. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I would love to give a shout out to Georgina Mogul, um, Anne Marie Slee, and Zoo Scott. Much love to you and peace. Be wild.